Hi and welcome to guitar close-up number two. Today we're going to take a close-up look at a strumming pattern that's going to go something like this. We're using a four chord chord progression and the first chord is D. The next one is A minor 7, C, and G. We're capoed at the fourth fret. We're playing in standard tuning. So our key is F sharp major. Okay? Now as far as the strumming pattern goes, we're using a 16th note strumming pattern. So that's just like that. So we're getting four strums per beat that way. We're going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, just like that. So it's one, two, three, four. So for every beat, we get four strums. Okay? So what we're trying to decide is what part of the strumming pattern to put emphasis on as we're doing this sixteenth. Now the emphasis here is going to be down, up. Down, up, down, just like that, and then we're going to repeat that. Now what I'd like for you to do is not to try to do the pattern at first. Just go like that, up and down. We're holding on to a D chord, okay? We're going to get the pattern done first. Okay, here we go. And now I want you to listen to the sound of my voice. And when I go down and up, those are the times we're going to have emphasis, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Now, what you want to do is to listen to that and learn that up and down or learn when that timing is struck and what we're going to do is increase our pressure on the strings when we get to each point so it's down up down up down you see so what happens is at those emphasis points we're going to strike the strings a little harder we're not going to change our pattern, okay? Now, what I'm going to do right now is show you a diagram that shows you where those points come in. Now, what we've got here is 16 increments, right? Okay, because this is 16th note strumming. And this is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and so on. The first one, we're going to put emphasis on the downstroke. On the last increment of the first beat, we're going to put an emphasis on the upstroke. As you can see, this is where you're going to put the emphasis. So it's going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that's going to be repeated. So the arrows are points at which the emphasis is going to occur. So we've got this. And that is one cycle of your strumming pattern. Here's the strumming pattern complete with the chord progression. Here it is a little faster.
That's it for a guitar close-up for today. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.